today we'll be looking at Linux Mint. Perfect distro for newcomers and your mom, or in this case for younger viewers, your grandma, and maybe even your great grandma. Perfect Linux distribution for them. So we're going to go ahead and, and so we're on the home page, read about stuff about Linux Mint, whatnot stuff then hit download but all right downloaded it so let's start this virtual machine now linux mint iso has a few options compared to other linux distributions for one you could do an oem install so if you're a manufacturer of laptops or desktop pcs you could do that and you know the start Linux Mint. A Boeing install base just install the operating system and then when the user first boots in the machine they'll be like, hey, create a new user. Okay, so we're booted in. Oh. Okay, sure. So I'm gonna install Linux Mint. It looks good. You should definitely install this because otherwise you won't be able to play things. As you can see, it's a very... Oh. As you can see, it's a very quick installer. It's almost done. In fact, I mentioned that there are various editions of Linux Mint. Is you have the Cinnamon edition, which is the base one that everyone will be using. In the Mate edition, if you prefer Mate over Cinnamon, you have the XFCE edition if you prefer XFCE, and then you have. This one, which is more the Edge Edition, which seems to be more up to date. There we go. It's finished. So we're going to hit Restart now. And then it wants to remove our installation media. So let's go and uh, hit this one. Or is it this one? It looks like it got removed. Alright, let's just hit enter and see what happens. Alright. There, Linux me give you this welcome menu, but let's first, uh... Alright, so, when you boot in the Linux Mint, you get this nice little welcome screen, and you can choose whether or not you want it to be there at startup. Now, desktop colors. I can choose all sorts of different colors for like this. So I want to do blue. You change the blue, purple. Choose the purple. You can do dark theme or light theme. Do red. Just keep it green. And you have different panel layouts. You have the more like XP Windows ninety five style and you have the more like Windows 7, Windows 8, and I guess 10, 11. So I'm going to keep it there. So if you really are boomer feeling, you could go and enable that. Then set up snapshots, drivers, system settings, software manager, Fire, the firewall, you can see the documentation, some help, and that'll be all for that. So this is Cinema C. It's a very Windows-like application menu. And you got the launches here, so... I got clock. Like manager, something to require attention. We have our user profile information, clock, volume, 
And now I'm going to show you how you can definitely make Linux Mint suitable for the boomers in your life using Boomerang. by Boomerang or B0 Meringue or B00 Meringue. So, it's, you have most of the themes, but we want to look at the Windows themes. Let's grab these ones. Oh, and also, we do need their icon themes. Oh, download this one and that one. Alright, so how you set them up is the icon themes, I believe. So we need the first view hidden files. Then create a new folder, call it up. We have themes, so we need icons. These are icons. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's the icon theme. So let's go and put that there. And XP. Move it into the icons. And then it's not quite, this is supported, not quite ready, but you can still set them up. So let's open the archive. This one I do know I'm in the mess with a little bit, so on the cursors, we put them there. Icons. Those over there. And that's a GTK theme. So let's put that into themes. There. And now Let's download the various other themes. And we've installed all of the themes. So now we can close Firefox. And I want to go into the system settings and select themes. And if they've installed correctly, you should be able to select us to do the Windows 95 version. So you have Chicago 95, Chicago 95 Tux. And buttons and one. The Windows 95 ones. Get that good old black and white cursor. And then it's like Windows 95. Now we just have to change the wallpaper, which I don't know what the wallpaper file is, to the, whatever this weird cyan color is. Letting me select the color, well, that's annoying. Yeah, but we got a barely. Windows, you know, very Windows 95 style uh, Windows 95 style uh, Linux install or Cinnamon version, so it's great for your parents in this case for the more recent generation, they're great they're their grandparents, not their great grandparents, although maybe the great grandparents. But now let's look at the when we not install 
XP will not install. Oh yeah, yeah, you need to, of course, <laughs> I, I would explain it. If all the various uh, Windows XP themes, there, that should do it now. I'll give it a second. There we go, so now you can go through all the different Windows XP themes, although most people probably just use the Luna theme. And where are you? Windows XP things. Where are you, Luna? I believe the cursor is basically the same, so. Oh, we didn't even look at those cursors. Whoops. Yeah, so then those so now we got pretty good looking uh Windows uh, XP looking thing. So if you like good old Fisher Price windows or your parents or your grandparents like Fisher Price windows, perfect for you. Or for for them rather. And then do Windows seven. There we go. Now this is reminiscent, although does it have transparency? It doesn't seem to have transparency. That's unfortunate. This does. But yeah, this is perfect for, I guess, if you're nostalgic for the good old Windows 7 themes. So, and that was a quick overview of Linux Mint, as well as how to make it look like a more boomer-friendly operating system. Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Mastodon, ring the bell, leave a comment, and have a nice day.